did that Agria girl say such awful things to me? Is that wretched little urchin actually nobility? Yes, I do believe that she is the scion of the Travis family. The Travis estate was destroyed by arson a few years ago. Most of the Travises died in the blaze. She lost her whole family? No wonder she turned out that way. How interesting. You can sympathize with someone you despised mere seconds ago. Yeah, I guess that's the kind of thing Agria would say reeks of naivete. Perhaps she would. But I find it to be a kind and gentle smell. I agree. Oh dear. Perhaps we're starting to smell a bit cheesy ourselves. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. <laughs> It's been a while since you've been back to Fenmont. Don't you want to visit any of your friends? Uh, yeah, sure. Wait, you didn't make any friends while you were here? I made plenty of friends. It just... It feels like it's been forever since I went to school here. Dr. Jude, I didn't know you were back. I couldn't believe it when I heard that the military was after you. Oh gosh, where do I even begin? Take a deep breath, Prin. It's okay. Although, to be honest, so much has happened that I don't really know where to begin either. You weren't really a spy, were you? I can't imagine you being one. Are you kidding? Jude's smart and all, but I wouldn't hire this goofball to spy on his own nose. <laughs> a harsh yet accurate appraisal. <laughs> <laughs> you must be Leia. You're exactly as Dr. Jude described you. You always showed up in his stories, you know. Really? And here I thought he'd forgotten all about me. I only mentioned you a few times. Hey, is that a sylph, Jay? Are you treating it? Yes, I'm doing it as a special favor for an acquaintance of mine. That's the same bird Alvin uses. I didn't know it was called a sylph, Jay. They're pretty unique. They can channel wind spirits with their manalobe to help them fly long distances. Sylph jays also have the ability to distinguish between the manalobes of different people, and can use that to sense a person's location. Hence their popular use for military communication. Wow, little guy, you're pretty smart. Unfortunately, this little one flew too far, too fast, and ended up hurting his manalobe. Well, that was silly of you. But I like a hard worker. He'll weaken and die from the injury. And there isn't anything I can do to save him. There is a treatment that uses harmonica grass, but it's impossible to get right now with everything that's happening. Hey, if that's the case, I'll find some harmonica grass for him. What? You know I have a weakness for the smart but bumbling type. You're still talking about the Sylph Jay, right?
I figured security would be tighter than this. I don't suppose we could just charge inside. That wouldn't be prudent. This is their stronghold. Rowan? What's the matter? I was just weighing options. I think Jude might have the right idea here. Whoa, hey now, are you serious? For once, Mila is telling us to be cautious and not charge in. Do you have a plan? More of a hunch, actually. Shall we test it? If it's good enough for Rowan, count me in. Stop right there! They won't get through. They won't get through. Always one step ahead. Not bad. You're open. This encounter was most pleasant. Any reinforcements? Looks clear. But this is the king's house. Shouldn't he have more soldiers? It could be a trap. No doubt the Rashagal army has already been deployed for war with Ajul. But wouldn't they tighten security around the royal palace in wartime? Except for the natural and man-made barriers that protect Fenmont in the north and south, it has few defenses in the event of a siege. If the enemy army breaches its walls, the city is as good as fallen. Troops are wasted here in wartime, so the majority of them are deployed to fortify the naval defenses in Fort Gondala. That makes sense. But it also means war is imminent. We can't waste this opportunity. Indeed. This is a Lotus Ring, a device that ferries people throughout Order Palace. We must use it to proceed further. All aboard? Wow! Order Palace is huge! 
And it's so sparkly and pretty. I've never seen anything like it. The entirety of Orta Palace was made out of a single lumen tree. They channeled spirits to grow it into the shape of this giant palace in just five years. This is a single tree? Wow, their spirit arts are incredible. Oh, you guys actually believe me? N no not at all. We just thought it sounded true. Isn't that the same thing? seen anything like it before. It seems to be an art designed specifically for security. I've never seen such a thing. I guess just walking through was too much to hope for. Naturally. But this won't be enough to stop us. No break. Not that. Time to go to work. Don't get lazy. Okay? March one. I knew it. And this fear. I appreciate the support. You can count on us! Anytime! Stop! I can't believe I'm visiting Orta Palace. It's like a dream come true. This isn't visiting. This is breaking and entering. Welcome to Rashagal's Most Wanted. I should say something.
If we must. Here we go. Power 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 Far too close. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Far too close. Far too close. Far too close. Darling! Who's next? Always one step ahead. Always one step ahead. Forward. Always one step ahead. You're open. Forward. Always one step ahead. May the gods watch over you eternally. If we must, always run. Cry light! Throw it! Squall shot! Always run. Forward! Run over you are! Down the path of life! Cry light! I shall keep striving to be the best. Always one step 
You are no match for my prowess. <laughs> 